Our main focus in New York, though, it, it was, it's important to realize this. It's re the Republican Party who brought gay marriage to New York, in New York, and so our principal work right now is making sure that the four Republicans who ran and told the voters that they were against same-sex marriage and then voted uh, hear from their constituents. Well, yeah, you're actually uh, getting to the second part of my question. Uh, just, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> do you, but uh, do you do you expect to spend? Um, I, I think it was close to uh, nine hundred thousand dollars, give or take, uh, on lobbying efforts. Do you expect to spend? that much money this year in New York on uh, trying to uh, unseat those four Republicans who uh, voted yes on same-sex marriage? Well, you know, on operational details, you'd have to talk to Brian Brown, but I will tell you, we promised to spend uh, two million uh, against any Republican who voted for same-sex marriage, and I think we'll end up fulfilling that pledge. I'm confident that we will. And will you be helping support support their primary challengers? And do you think Republicans in New York should maybe even lose the majority in the state Senate because of allowing a vote on same-sex marriage? Well, it's funny. We've already seen the Democrats lose a seat. It looks like uh, they lost a congressional seat with David Weprin uh, over the issue with Orthodox Jews in, in South Brooklyn. And I don't know what the latest vote count is. The last time I checked, it looked like Strobin was going to pull off a total upset victory in the state of New York. Um, but I do think the Republicans' uh, uh, control of the Senate is going to be in danger. And Mark, it's, nobody likes somebody who campaigns one way and runs another. You can't trust politicians like that.